Y'all know how I started there a motherfucking show. Pundit! Hey, man, we downtown. Just hanging out, man. I'm waiting on my son, man. We got a couple of buildings, man. These two 25-story buildings right here. Downtown on Main Street. Here's the KFC Arena. What's up, homie? What's up, bro? Man, you see it, man. Everybody out moving tonight and shit. Hey, what kind of phone you got? Man, uh, shit, this is a... Uh, Samsung. Uh, Samsung. What kind of you got? Shit, I don't know. I'm doing, doing my little show right right now, recording, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing my little YouTube show, man. What you think about all these motherfuckers talking about they got damn gay. Everybody coming out to my day motherfucker, just like the football player. Huh. The, the the shit, the Carl Nesbitt. Why do, hey, I'm a motherfucker pussy fiend, but you don't hear me announcing to everybody that I love pussy, pussy, pussy. I you you understand what I'm saying? Why you gotta let everybody know your goddamn business? I mean, if you really want to know it from me, I give it to you blood raw. Get, get to me blood raw. All right, so when you're dealing with people that actually been pushed into an ideology, an idea of somebody else. Yeah, yeah which is your oppressor, therefore you deal with your oppressor on more than one level. Right. You have the physical, the mental. Right. As well as everything else that goes along with society. Right. So the program is where they actually promote it more than a little bit. So okay. So it be Okay. Deviancy has always been. Here's my thing. That's a good ass, that's a good ass topic. That's a good ass way, analogy, way to describe it. Because my thing is this. These motherfuckers act like they getting money for, for, for saying it. Like, dude, nobody gives a fuck about you being gay except for your mama, daddy, kids, or that girl you getting that dirty dick to. Oh, but the thing you dig is, what I'm saying? You, you pretty much, you like, what they do is they pretty much cut off the bloodline. So you're But he's white, though. You know the football player is white, though, right? But I'm just trying to figure out why That's the fuck. That's a deviant, though. He come from a deviant bloodline. Oh, there we go. There we go. So I feel you. It's, it's a program. They try to make this shit more motherfucking acceptable mm -hmm. than, than it it is. They seem like, you know, like they getting standing ovations and shit. You dig what I'm saying? Right. They they just seem like, man, you, you know, hey, thanks for coming out. Dudes, I've been meaning to do this for a while. Like, you ain't. We ain't upset because you didn't do it. Yeah. I'm kind of yeah. pissed off because you did motherfucking do it. it you did what I'm my saying? Life. Yeah. It's not Everybody. my life, but that's the thing that they choose to do. So yeah. The whole thing is, is what's acceptable in Rome is going to be acceptable all over. Man, my whole th thing is, dog, nobody gives a fuck, right? So you done had three motherfuckers come out. This week, basically, saying blah, 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 blah. One of the little uh, Archer Letter, the little guy that was on uh, American Idol and shit, he done came out. The football player done came out, somebody else. Like, these motherfuckers act like it's, it is. It's acceptable. Bro. Man, look here, man. <laughs> Keep your shit to your goddamn self. Nobody gives a fuck. Right. At least nobody that I know give a fuck. Right. You dig, dig what I'm saying? So why you got to put that shit up? Man, you got very impressionable kids that, that watch Sports but Center remember, and that's around here shit. Every, every, every society has their own agenda. Right, right. It's abroad now. Right. It's abroad. It's, it's in Europe hard. Man. It's in Germany. For real, for real. Right, right. Uh, but the thing is, is everything that was going on comes from a holiday that they practice, which they practice it during Christmas, which is called Satinami. Huh? What the fuck is that? Being gay? No. Oh, what the fuck is that? Where husbands exchange wives and men oh. have sex with other men. Oh, other no, men no. I don't need no nothing about that. That's, yeah, some... that's the reason why you do history. Oh, well, you, look, man. If it ain't black history, I don't too much want to know nothing about it. We know about white history. It's been taught from uh, uh, maybe first grade kindergarten on up. But they trying to they trying that. to say say no, goddamn. They trying to they actually trying to chop black history off the block. You, I, I I I can feel that. But look, when you when my teacher, I still remember this. When my motherfucking teacher tell me Christopher Columbus discovered America, that but was it, a lie. I know, but it was already Indians here waving to them and talking. But we talk were them. the Indians. Look, look, I don't know. We were the Indians of no, the Indians. That's how you actually got a massive amount of slaves. 
Hey, it could be. They could have did the transatlantic to brought to bring the rest over here, or we could already been here. So you're gonna have a big ass ship full of black people transported from one continent to another. Yeah. You seen the Catilda down in Mobile, right? That was the last slave ship to do it. He brought 180 and his ship when that it wasn't that big and illustrious. So imagine some of them other Europeans with them big ass motherfucking ships and right. shit. You know right. what I'm that, saying? That, 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 that shows so, you that shows you for real, for real. I'm not I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and cut it down. Yeah, cut it up, because man. Because for real, for real, the United States and Africa was actually conjoined. It was called Pangea. Okay. So when you start talking about Pangea, how did this demographic over here get over here? The people that was over here was already here. Okay. So what happened then? Therefore, you already had the people here, so you all you did was enslave them. Right. That's how slavery came about. Okay. You don't just transport motherfucking slaves. They already have to be here. Well, some of them do. I don't know if they transported everybody. I could see some of them already being here. Right. Because motherfucker, you know, here, here's what I was trying to tell the white chick at work. I said, it's no way you can get a black person from a white person. No, you but you could get a white their whole blood line. But you, you can get a white person <laughs> from but you could get a white person from a black person. Because it's different. Do you know how many shades of black people? You got red bone. Right. You got midnight black. Right. You got brown paper black. Right. Bag black, right? Right. Okay, then you got what up, L? You know, you know what I'm saying? You just got different kind of black people. You could look around this motherfucker today down here you'll and look see at Nigerian, all Nigerian, Ethiopian, you'll see but all But you would see all different shades of black people, right? right? But it's only one shade of white person. White. But the thing is, is we already had this continent established a long time ago. Way before they came here. Hmm. Okay, okay. Hey man, that's good shit. You dig what I'm saying? That's good shit, man. But that's the thing though. If you actually expose that, then you have to actually give people reparation. And nobody and give people land. Do you do you listen to Dr. Claude Anderson? Yeah. Okay. So he's the only one that I've heard theoretically break it down to a molecule to where it makes sense to everybody. If that shit don't make sense to you, then you just don't have a brain in you, or you got the brain the size of a motherfucking ant. <laughs> <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Right. So he broke it down to what a slave what used to Shane? cost back then to what it will be in today's date, right? Welcome everybody. But no, oh, oh you got you got just some shit going I'm, on? I'm on the live right now. You on the live right now. My whole boy on the live right now. I wish I knew how to flip this goddamn camera. So you you work in this in this I work throughout this whole Oh you work throughout this whole Oh man, you got the best motherfucking job. Look <laughs> look here man, you got people riding down here. I know in the summertime. Friday. This is the spot. Friday just the spot. You got the girls Where you on. Where from, bro? Man, I'm from here. Huh. Well, I'm not originally from here. I'm originally from Montgomery, Alabama. Huh. But I've been here for, I've been here, man, for a while. I've been here from like '94 to 2012. You been down there to 18th and Muhammad Ali? I used to live on uh, 18th and Grand. Okay. Go I used to, to live 18th on 18th and Muhammad Ali and go sit with a man named Infadish. Infadish. Okay, what well, 18th and Muhammad Ali? So he's on this side of go Broadway, to, the is. north side. One, two, three, four. The fourth door. Go upstairs. Uh -huh. Go upstairs. Make that left. You hear a raspy man say, "Oh, tap." Okay. Just walk in there and talk to him. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to do that, man, because you do. Look, here's what I like. I like to get out and congregate with the people, man. Just see what the people. I got a a show called Pundit. Nobody's listening, and I start that motherfucker off every day like this. Pundit. You oh, hear me? Shoot. So, so, man, you know, and I just try to give people, man, I do different shit, man. I do life shit. You know what? Since we on live and we on live on your shit. All right. So this is Main Street. Right, right, right. right. So Main Street was the main place where they actually sold slaves. Right. So right here on 2nd Street, you go all the way down. Let me show, show y'all this, this building, man. This, this, this. Build That's up, the up here. Building. Yeah, LG and E building. Right here, man. Louisville, Kentucky. Main, I wish I could Main Street. Look at that. LG and so, E building. So right here is where they here there's the Bell of Louisville is what they used to use to transport slaves. Right, right. 
And people hop on that bitch every year and ride that bitch. Right. Up and down. I hey hey man, ride. I ain't even gonna go front, man. I wanted to get on that motherfucker just to just, you know, me and my girl or me and my homeboy get on there, man. Just go, you know, shoot oh, up yeah, shoot up the you river, have a have a good little fun. But you know, river transportation was the hub of everything back yeah. in the day. If you didn't live by that's why all the major cities are by Big bodies of water. Right. You did what I'm saying? All the major cities. If you look at that's how they actually transported. The transported water. everybody up and down this motherfucker, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From the Mississippi to the Ohio, this mm. is just, you know, the way of transportation and that and everything, man. I tell you another one that really tripped me out. The Pandemic Club. Black served them from back Man, the I have some homeboys that worked there in ninety. 97, 98 right. and shit and uh, you know they they was like man one dude he was the little manager there he was trying to be the manager there but they wouldn't even let him be the manager there because they was like hey man you black this, this a white club and shit right. I'm like god still, damn they, they, still, they still got shackles in the basement what yeah. you lying man I swear to god he said, I swear to God. They still got shot. Oh. Uh, yeah, bro. Straight up. Like, literally, like, here it is. Right up here. Like, right up here is where they used to have the auction block. For real? Where? where? Is uh, uh, the, the Belvedere? Nah, go down. It'll be right across the street from um, from the, the Bat Museum. Uh, uh. With the giant Yeah, bat. yeah, 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 yeah. Little right Slug. Uh, right beside it is where they can do genealogy. It says Born Hill can do genealogy. For real? Right okay. That's and dope. And look up their whole family history. Right. Hey, man, but look, you know what? That's something that everybody need to do, look up their whole... Man, you know, I got some cousins that are doing it for, like, our family and stuff, man, which I know my grandfather and my great-great-grandfather, I know them. You know what I'm saying? Like, motherfuckers be trying to say, dude, my grandmama, my mother's mom, her mother was Indian and her daddy was white. Now, how the fuck my granddaddy sneak on the reservation and get her light white ass? I don't motherfucking know. This, and that's why. This is what really tripped me out about that. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell you like this. Tell me, man. All right. So, just like you just said, your grand, your great great was Indian. Right. Great, not, not my great great, but my great grandmother. Great grandmother. My great grandmother, no, my yeah, my great grandmother was Indian, right. and her husband was white. Okay. Look and my at granddaddy this. and my granddaddy is black as this sore in here. Right. Now, how the fuck did they he wind up? Buffalo head back in the days because we actually was darker than a little bit and was called Indian. We were the first ones. Right. We were the first ones on this continent. They did the name change so you could actually be lost. So you can't you can't trace nothing. Mm. You can't tie yourself to the land, not of sea. You okay. You claim yourself to be black, white, or any color. Right. All you're doing is calling yourself a Civil War II slave. That's the reason why they gave you a social security number. Because you are someone else's property. Hmm. And who do you learn this from, little dude on 18th? 18th of Muhammad Ali. Hey, man, that's deep. Hey, man, but you know what, man? We don't have, if you look, man, we don't have no history. We need some we history. I mean, we, we have history, but they have tried to wipe the slate clean. Oh, yeah. We learn that's about, we learn about everybody else's history more than we learn about our Jackie own history. Red. Do you we'll understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. We learn about everybody else's history. And just like, you know, I told, I, I was telling, man, my son was doing a thing on people mm -hmm. for uh, history. I said, look, do it on Marcus Garvey, man. What you, was, hey. Marcus do it on Garvey, Marcus look, Garvey, look, 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 man. Marcus Garvey, he was uh, arrested in America, put in prison. Mm. Uh, Noble Dry Lee actually wrote a letter to the warden of the- uh, Hey, what's up, what's up, how you That's doing? good one. I see you made it in one piece. <laughs> uh, he actually got released because uh, Noble Dry Lee actually told the warden that he wasn't from America. See, see what I'm saying? And that's why he went to uh, Jamaica. He was in the South, just the 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 uh, Jamaica and what's the other one? He was jumping around, but he finally settled. I'm trying, trying to see if that's my son pulling up. Uh, he settled in. Uh, he was up in New York. 
Nah, but when he left New York, he went to I want to say maybe Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he went or back something to, something he like went that. Back to yeah, uh, Jamaica. Yeah. So so you know that's just one of the things, man. So like I said, everybody need to motherfucking learn that. that hey hey. Everybody, that's my that's my oldest son right there. Yeah. He didn't he didn't brought the bike. Yeah, man. So you know, we all need need to learn our learn our doggone history and what it is and there and everything, man. But the thing is, is when you deal with the word history, it means his story. What's up, boy, boy? What you up to, man? Why you coming from across the bridge? You you was already over there? Yeah, I told you I was already on Dixie Highway. Dixie Highway. I'm thinking Dixie Highway. You talking about 18th? What Dixie Highway? You talking about? The only Dixie Highway in Louisville. <laughs> oh, I thought look, he said only Dixie Highway in Louisville. It's my fucking crazy. I thought, I thought you was look. What kind of bike you got over there? Look. CBR Ooh, let me have. It. He said, Ooh, let, let me have. It. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I thought you were coming from across the bridge. Oh, you just turned from right. You just turned from right there. I can't. I got off a of little I was coming on the highway. Ah, ah, okay, 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 okay. Hey, bro. Yeah. B, hey, hey, man, look here, dog. Be easy, hey, man. How long you down here? I'm here every day. Man, look, we gonna rap. We gonna rap. Later, y'all. We gonna...